Okay, so 32 countries from all over the world gathered in Brazil to witness football at its finest. All right, and out of these 32 countries, four of them came from Asia, five from Africa, four from North America, and six from South America, and the rest 13 from Europe. Okay, so what were the highlights of 2004 from the World Cup? Spain, who were favourites to win it after winning the last, unfortunately were, were, were knocked out in the, in the group stage itself. And even Cristiano Ronaldo and his, and, and his fellow countrymen could not even, he could not even lead his team to pass the group stage. And unfortunately for us fellow Asians, none of the Asian team managed to go far. And Brazil, who are known as the Samba boys, who played at their home ground, were humiliated by the Germans 7-1, which led the whole nation shedding tears. And uh, in the final, for the ultimate place, the grand stage, to win the 18th grade goal, and of course the pride of the nation, Germany beat Argentina 1-0 by, by extra time goal for Mario Götze to take them and to win the 2014 FIFA World Cup. So thank you, that's for me, and I, I hope you enjoy it. Wow, I've never been this interested in sports all my life. Green here for sports. Now, as you see, in 2014, we have this medical issue that should be shared and will be explained by our virologist expert, Dr. Sufi. Please enlighten us. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Sufi. I would like to share uh, information about horrible virus. This virus first appeared in outbreak in Sudan and Sierra Congo in 1976. And often this is better disease due to rich unknown treatment and vaccines. According to World Health Organization, this virus already caused 20,000 cases and 7,800 7, deaths in September of 2013. Okay. Before I continue, the following picture will play of play cards. This one called viewer discretion are away. Okay. You can see that the virus infected patients, they are suffer from headache, sore throat, intense weakness, or muscle pain. And when it becomes severe, they will also su uh, suffering from vomiting, diarrhea, and may also have the damage of their kidney and liver. And in the most severe case, they will bleed internally and externally. So, all these symptoms, they will uh, appear 2 to 21 days after their contact with the virus. Okay, at this point, any idea of the virus? Do you know the name of the virus? Oh. It's Ebola. If you know me, you know that I have a special bond with food. One of the perks of coming back to Malaysia is actually trying a different kind of food. And based on my experience, um, Malaysian food is one of the best food tasting flavor I've ever felt in <laughs> my taste bud. Um, I can say that um, Malaysia is also multicultural, so it adds more spices to the life and literally also on the food. Um, and here's what, do you guys know what this is? 
So Rambi Burger is actually one of the best mouth mouth watering burger I've ever tasted and tickled my taste bud compared to McDonald burgers because McDonald burger is much more dry and I actually prefer Rambi burger. It's greasy and it's also oily and <laughs> but flavory, but I love it. Okay, and talking about food, okay, this is uh, not this time. Talking about food, Malaysian KFC has a much more bigger size compared to Serbian KFC. And actually, I prefer the taste as well. And okay, however, when we talk about pizza, uh, Italian pizza is one of the best pizza, <coughs> one of the best pizza in the world. And um, based on opinion, yeah. pizza in a cone. This is pizza in a cone, and the other pizza is pizza and pie. Yes. Have you guys ever tasted it before? No, you should really try. <laughs> um, and comparing to uh, Malaysian pizza, uh, pizza in, in Italy is much more organic. Malaysian pizza is much more, I don't know, it's not really original and it's very, how do you say it? It tastes, it tastes a bit raw <coughs> compared to uh, Italian pizza. And yeah, I think it's because mainly it comes from fast food outlets as well. So guys, if you want to taste more food, you should travel more often if you can. And remember, food is the essence of life. I want to come back. <laughs> okay, thank you, Izzy. Wow, I'm salivating like the Pablo dogs. <laughs> Last but not least, highlight of 2014 is this young, brave girl named Malala Yousafzai. This girl has been shot by the Pakistani terrorists just for going to school. Now, apparently, that did not stop her. She actually raised up from the ashes and started going to different talks, speeches, giving out in UN Youth Assembly, for instance. And the recent one, she actually won a Nobel Peace Prize Award, making her the youngest yet to actually receive it. Now, isn't that amazing? People, you don't really have to stop that. You can actually help with her campaign by going to this website, malala.org, and make the ripple that she made to a wave into a tsunami and help with the fight for education. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for today. 2014 was a wonderful year and we look forward to what 2015 has to offer. With that, I'm Elle signing off. Good night.